my name is Kiana and my topic today is global warming, is it a myth? Um, so, I'm actually glad this topic came up because I have to say over the past few years, this particular topic, global warming in itself, has sparked so much controversy and it's such a great debatable question. Because if you look at the world today, you've got two parties battling this issue. You've got the corporate conglomerates and you've got the environmental activists, right? You have governments, like even in America for the past few years with the Bush administration, under George W. Bush and under Dick Cheney, they were actually against the whole idea of global warming because they were for the economy. They didn't want the issue of global warming being a hindrance to development. Whereas the environmental activists such as Al Gore, for example, he was constantly fighting for the cause of global warming because he felt that there was an urge to solve this issue. But regardless of whether or not, you know, um, who's right and who's wrong in this giant debate, we have to realize that no matter what, at the end of the day, one thing, one good thing came out of it, and that is awareness. So as you can see every day now, um, celebrities are talking about uh, global warming all the time. They're talking about saving the environment. You can look at documentaries such as Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth, even Leonardo DiCaprio's The Eleventh Hour. All these different documentaries and movies are being made to spark awareness, and I believe that that's a good thing. Even companies such as Estee Lauder and The Body Shop Company, Origins, all these people are using global warming and its effects as a marketing strategy. So they're talking about you know, recyclable items, they're talking about eco-friendly products. So from this, we can see that there is a move and there's progress towards this issue. But coming back to the question of whether or not global warming is a myth, personally, I don't think it matters whether it's a myth or whether it's reality. Because guess what? At the end of the day, the goal remains the same, and that is to solve the problem of shortages of natural resources. My point of view is, whether or not global warming is real or whether or not it's fake, at the end of the day, if we're all pretending that it is real, then the end product is that we do move towards progress. I mean, look at the situation now. Companies are researching and developing new ways of um, alternative methods of research and products, and I don't see anything wrong in that. In fact, the idea of a fear of global warming has actually presented a lot of reason and motivation for people around the world to actually move towards a better goal. Think about it, you know, Earth Hour. If we didn't have a fear of global warming, would we even bother to think twice about leaving our tap on or leaving on the lights when we don't need it? I believe that whether or not it's real or whether or not it's fake, it shouldn't be an issue. We believe that you know global warming doesn't have to be, oh, just because it's real, I need to make a move and I need to solve the issue. It doesn't matter because when it comes to issues such as the earth and such as the environment, what is so wrong in taking the precautionary steps? I mean, think about it. We've been trained since we were young. So, you know, in, in Malay, there's that, there's a saying called Sidiakan Payong Sublong Hujan. And also in Boy Scouts, they always teach you always be prepared. So, why not use global warming, regardless of whether or not it's a myth or not, because it's still so controversial and it's still such a debate. In fact, Google it right now, and you can see at least, the, like, the first page will have five websites saying why it's fake and five websites saying why it's real. So, to answer the question whether or not it's a myth, I don't think it's possible to do that at this point because it's so early in the time. So, why not just lie to ourselves and say that it's real no matter what? Because the progress and the good that comes out of it is something that has no harm. Think about it. Companies are, now have this great motivation to work towards more research and more development in products to research and come up with new alternative methods. So what's so wrong about that? And next, um, you know, we are it's, we're instilling this idea and this habit of saving and thinking twice about what we do. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that as well. That's what the world needs right now. Because if you look at society today, all we humans, all of us, we just do something if there's something for us to benefit out of it. So why not regard, we do, no, stop asking ourselves, is it a myth or is it reality? Because honestly, it doesn't matter. 
why can't we just tell ourselves that we should work towards a good goal no matter what? So honestly, that's why I think that this question, whether it's a myth or whether it's reality, it's irrelevant. Because at the end of the day, we should be working towards saving the environment no matter what. Because, you know, it's not like a broken toy. Once you're done with it, you can always get it replaced. You can't replace Earth. It's not something you can mess about with. So why wait till the last minute before we realize that, oh, it's a reality, now we really need to work towards solving it. Why not take the precautionary steps now? So that's why I believe that regardless of whether or not it's a myth or whether it's reality, we should make a move towards solving this issue. So that's my view on global warming. Thank you.